covenant family, let us pray. O oh God, we are so thankful for who you are. We are thankful that no matter what is going on, you understand us. You are our counselor that we can come to. We are able to go into each new situation, each new day, each new emotion, and come back to you, Lord, knowing that you hear us, you love us, you desire to, to walk with us and to heal us. And so, God, we praise you for your character. We praise you for your love. God, we acknowledge before you that we have so much that is broken and so much in need of healing. God, we acknowledge, Lord, the sin that there is in this world and the ways in which we participate in it and the ways that we are responsible at times. And then we also acknowledge the ways in which there are things that are going on that we don't even understand, things that are frustrating and yet we don't know the answer to. And God, we also name this sin. And we name it sin, confessing it and asking you to turn us from it, to move us, Lord, into healing, into anti-racism, into ways in which your peace and your love and your justice are for all. God, we pray for all of those on our prayer list today. We know that there are those who are mourning. We know that there's are in a particular time of challenge and struggle. And God, we ask that you would be with them. Lord, we lift them up to you this day. God, we pray for those who are the most isolated right now. I just saw a story about, Lord, some of those who are still living as refugees and living in detention centers in our nation, God, and the dangers in those places right now, and we pray for them. God, we pray for all of those who are working so hard to adapt and to keep us safe in relation to COVID. God, we pray for our state in this week in which our numbers have gone way up. We pray for our hospitals. We pray for all of us that we would stay safe, that we'd be able to live in such a way, God, that you would call us to in a way in which that we would do no harm. So God, we pray that you'd keep our hospitals Lord, working as best as they can. We pray for all those decision makers, whether it's at each small business or in our education system and our government or in so many other places that are making such hard decisions. We know there are people in our school systems right now working so hard to try to figure out what we can do for the fall semester. And we pray for each of them. We pray for all of our families trying to live with this well, trying to care for their children. God, we pray for the many people who are trying to figure out ways to, to go on in the midst of not having some of their normal tools that they have to address challenge, whether that's those who suffer from addiction and are not able to have some of their same meetings, whether it's those that have great small groups and friendships that aren't able to function in the same ways right now. We pray that you would keep giving us tools to adapt and tools to care for one another well. God, we pray for our nation these days. We pray for our president and all our elected officials. We pray for the police force and each city council and all the people, Lord, that are having to really answer for and speak to many different concerns and challenges, especially with the many different protests going on. And we pray that these would all lead to, to healing. These would all lead to change systems and, and Lord, a better way a way that's more like the way you would intend, like the way in which we would all experience equality and equal opportunity and love. And so, God, we thank you that you are healing us. We thank you, God, that you walk with us in the midst of these confusing times. We thank you that our hope is in you, that we can submit our lives to you. And it doesn't mean that all of a sudden we are perfect, but it does mean, God, that you forgive us and that you are turning us and transforming us as your disciples. God, we thank you so much for your love that's in this world, your love that you've put in our hearts. We pray that you would increase it, that our lives would point to you, that we would see you at work in this confusing world because you are here and you are doing great things. You are bring, bringing transformation and you are bringing healing. And God, we thank you that you invite all of us to be your disciples. And so we take on that identity, we take on that name in 
in our own imperfection because of the grace you have offered to us. And we pray the prayer that you have taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.